What's up everybody? Today we have two vehicles, Chrysler Dodge vehicles with the 2.7 liter. First one's a 2008. The trouble code is P0016 camshaft crankshaft variation. Um, most of the definitions you're going to find state that code is caused by valve timing. The first one, this is going to be true. Now the kit that I'm using is a PicoScope 4425A. The stuff that's grayed out in this picture did not come with that kit. So it's a base standard kit, a couple thousand dollars versus six or seven thousand for some of these uh, PicoScope kits, but it gets the job done. You don't really have to have the special leads on the end. Um, I like to save money wherever I can. I'm using a Handtech cheap uh, coil on plug signal probe. This picks up the secondary voltage of ignition coils. Especially useful if the intake manifold's in the way and you don't have to pull the intake manifold. In this case, the intake manifold was covering coil number one, which we'll look at more in the end of the video, but this allowed me to get right to the top of it without having to pull the intake. This is the engine we're, we're working on. It's the 2.7 again. Uh, 2000s, early 2000s, Chrysler used this engine quite a bit. Eventually the 3.5 came out. Now, looking at this, it has three timing chains, but there's only one cam position sensor. It's on the left side of the engine if you're sitting inside the car and the motor is facing the radiator up front, which is longitudinal mount. Transverse, this uh, cam sensor would be on the radiator side. Now, there's a tone wheel. Again, it, only has, it has only one cam position sensor. You see the arrow is pointing at the cam position tone wheel. It's riveted, it's not bolted. Haven't seen one loosen up or be off in that regard, but if you have an earlier year, this is a 2008, you can have a different engine computer, which means the tone wheel is gonna be a little bit different. So be careful with that. That should cause a delayed start or a no start. If you put a used engine in with a different computer, and you would uh, probably get a code P0344 or P0340. You could get P0016 if it has the wrong tone wheel. It really depends, um, but yeah, be careful with that situation. Now this first one, 2010 Dodge Charger with the 2.7, Cam crank difference is 16 degrees. It was setting P0016, which possible causes valve timing. But it says that it's in sync with it running on the cam sync state. If you look there in the crank sync state, that says in sync as well. It's um, technically the data is saying, other than the 16 degrees, that it's in sync, which is not true. This Pico scope, I'm tied into the cam position sensor signal wire at the computer, and then right next to it at the computer, C2 connector is a crank position. The red is a cam position signal, and the blue in this picture is a crank position sensor. I'm gonna show you in a few seconds what a good signal should look like, but right now we have, uh, in, in that situation, looking at that picture, that was actually one tooth off and it was one tooth off at the crankshaft. Real easy to do if you don't have a mirror setting the timing on this engine because it's low in the car, you're bending over, and it's not in an easy position to look at without a mirror. So that and the tensioner system uses a unique uh, timing chain tensioner and it might've jumped a tooth when they set it up. After I set the valve timing, now it says four degrees the code would set instantly when it was off a tooth and it was 16 degrees. Now, my experience tells me 10 degrees or more on this engine will set P0016. P0340, P0344, those are typically electrical issues. Now, there's also uh, this next one. This is a 2008 Dodge Charger 2.7, same everything. And it had the same code, 
P0016, but the cam crank difference is minus five. And it says in sync, but minus five, that should not set P0016 in my experience. I don't know if you're noticing that, but there's actually a disturbance in the cam and crank sensor signals. And that disturbance is possibly causing this code to set. And I'm going to show you in a sec what I did and how I found it. But you see that that's a cylinder one ignition coil. It coincides with the disturbance in the cam and crank sensor signals. This is a known good coil and plug cylinder uh, two, I believe. Now there is a little bit of a spike that's caused by the scope itself. But, you know, that signal right there is actually after uh, I switched out the coil as well. But Chrysler is a two wire ignition coil and it can actually cause some uh, issues like the computer resetting or cam crank sensor codes, uh, stuff like that. If the kickback diode inside the cheaper aftermarket coils is either not there or really poor. In this case, the aftermarket coil is an off brand. It was causing a bunch of feedback that was getting all the way to the cam and crank sensor cam and crankshaft sensor signals that you saw there a second ago and all that fuzziness is basically high voltage feeding back to the circuit board which is inside the engine computer now was that the cause i don't know because in the end i replaced the coil and at the same time i did a cam and crankshaft relearn i will say this replacing the coil with the quality coil still triggered the code after clearing it but i did a cam and crank relearn immediately after that and the code went away. Now right here you see in the scope I'm actually um, I'm actually looking at the degrees of difference between the first car that was off and this one here that was five degrees and not too far off. So this is the second car scope sensor signal we're looking at and it's technically showing about you know what the scan tool is showing five degrees but I, I don't know exactly where the computer is looking at zero. I'm guessing being that cylinder one was firing in that area right there, that zero would be just right of the uh, square tower, but that's really difficult to say where this true zero mark is on the two, uh, two signals here.